So this is an addendum to the last video. Uh, I got a couple questions and I realized I wasn't really clear. Now let me be clear now as to why I wasn't clear then and that is because I believe I was the root cause of this thing exploding and I'm not talking about pushing it too hard and steel. I'm talking about when I first purchased this uh, it came to me broken. Right, So these legs were you know were both on here and they were on the motor it was shipped to me eBay and uh, they were bent uh, so during shipping the uh, the weight of this getting dropped by you know husky U UPS men dropping it you know the package from three feet high it would fall down hit and then momentum would slowly bend this so this was already bent up I just bent it back and carried on well the first time I went to adjust the belt, it snapped off. And that's what this piece is here. So this is the original piece uh, that was in here. It had snapped off, um, and so I thought I would manufacture a new part, and that's this piece. This is what I manufactured. Now, very similar, uh, for all intents and purposes, it's fine, but what I did wrong was when I went to put it all back together, uh, you'll, re you'll recall from the previous video, if you look here, that this portion was all was was loose. It wasn't securely fastened, and that that held these wipers. Because those what that one wiper was able to slowly vibrate, I think it was e able to chatter away and destroy the brush, which got excessive arcing. Excessive arcing, i.e., welding, um, causes heat. Heat causes well fire. So, I think I was a root cause of this thing uh, overheating. With that said, um, I still think these um, these fan fins are anemic. Um, so just to kind of demonstrate what the airflow in this thing should be, this is our motor put back together thus wise, and that sits in there like that, that sits on your motor. So air is drawn in through the top, through th these holes, and then blown out centrifugally throughout this perimeter. Um, and the so the way these things ro uh, work is these fins, as it's rotating, strike the air and start causing the air to rotate in a circle, and then centrifugal force forces the air out to the outside. So the amount of air you can move is directly proportional to the to how many and to how really how long these fins are so all the air in the middle doesn't get moved only this last little bit here gets moved um, and that's probably because this is just a, a stamped sheet metal part where they they bent in these uh, these lines here so you know so with that said I think if you can control the heat on this you're gonna be fine and if you don't do what I did which was you know it broke I should have bought a new motor. I got it to live a little longer. So I am the root cause of the failure. I don't want to do a disservice to the people who, you know, make these motors and whatnot. Thanks for putting up with this explanatory video. We'll uh we'll catch you next time.